Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. So today's update is on uh, the uh, Sony player software or a firmware update which you would like to call. So in previous video you have seen detailed how I have done that. This is a latest release which has happened from uh, 1.23 to 1.25. Earlier it was 1.2.1. So if you have if you have not seen that, please do that. Or if you have not done any updates uh, previously, so what you can do is you can do this firmware update. So technically, so you can see there is a new firmware update for uh, Sony XAV AX1000. So let me download this. So if you have not watched my previous version, you can just check on the previous so i'll just click on accept read the license okay thanks it got downloaded please read download okay so let, so you can see there is a zip file which has been downloaded here let me open show in folder i've just opened that in folder so also you can see my previous version it was 1.2.3 now it is 1.25 maybe it is the same steps which you have to follow let me guide you through the details so once you have extracted to the zip you can just see okay this is the the zip file which i have extracted okay let me show you one step back this is the zip file which i have extracted extract that zip file and copy these four uh, files into the USB drive where as a direct which is without the root or a folder structure uh, let me show you how that works so now you can see that I have copied all the files inside the USB without any other folders okay let me close this eject disk okay I've not done any updates uh, previously so what you can do is you can do this firmware update so technically there would not be much change but as a processing uh, the GPU processing speed and other things would definitely help uh, if you do like uh, then uh, please do like subscribe and share it to your uh, friends which would definitely help so that's the reason the brand will always be a brand and uh, this is where you can see the updates so i have made it in little dark so let me let me go to the settings so if you go to the settings uh, if you go to the settings you can see that under general okay then uh, firmware version so firmware version is CPU and uh, 1.23 and MCU is 1.23. So the update is required when uh, with the latest one, which I have shown as a download or a firmware update. You can just see this is 1.2.3. As I mentioned, now the update will be for 1.25. How we should be doing is um, the first process is uh, ensure you start the car for um, the updates because when you switch off the car then it will be a little difficult if there are any battery issues it may happen or it may break the software so start the car number one second insert the plug then go to the settings click on firmware update then uh, click on the update so once the update is done automatically the installation steps will start and update which will increase and I will show in my video. You can see I have started the car and the car is in idling position. So what I have to do is I'll just connect the USB. Uh, the firmware update which I have downloaded. Now you can see that I have connected the USB. So go to home and then scroll to the settings then click on general then click on uh, the firmware uh, firmware version sorry click on firmware version then you can see there is an update just click on the update so now you can see new firmware update 
uh, new firmware version GPU is 1.25 and 1.25 click on update so it says do not shut down uh, the system uh, there is an update which is going on uh, this is the update which is happening so you can just wait and watch uh, the updates are in progress you can see the update is going on I am just pausing the video so that uh, not to take much time the updates are still going on I think so it's around 80% which is completed and uh, updating can just see it so when there is update going on ensure that the USB is in intact you're not playing around with any of the system settings because it may distract or it may disturb the settings now you can see that system has restarted then it says that your safety do not uh, this is the the button which I got it is non-playable because it's a fat file which I have got if I go to settings then click on general yeah click on general then click on firmware update so now you can see that the changes have been reflected and it says 1.25 1.25 earlier it was 1.23 so now both the uh, settings have updated not seen that please do that or if you have not done any updates uh, previously so what you can do is you can do this firmware update so technically there would not be much change but as a processing uh, the GPU processing speed and other things would definitely help uh, if you do like uh, then uh, please do like subscribe and share it to your uh, friends